Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video, Men's Health Update. Now, some of you will know that uh, I am having radiotherapy for prostate cancer, and I'm halfway through my treatment, so I thought it was time to give you a little update. First of all, I think I said in my last video, I'm not 100% sure, I was originally scheduled to have 37 sessions, yes, 37 daily sessions, but they cut that down to 20 sessions, and I have now had 11 sessions. So I thought you'd like to know how things are getting on. Well, it's okay, actually, it's okay. You get into a routine, right? You get up to the hospital, and then you've got to be there about an hour an hour and a quarter beforehand because you've got to do your prep and if you've seen the line the previous videos you will know what the prep involves and it is two things basically you've got to have an empty bowel and you've got to have a full bladder okay so do not get those two things mixed up guys if you are about to have radiotherapy for prostate cancer do not get them mixed up so how do you have an empty bowel well you've got to give yourself an enema now you may be surprised that a 68-year-old man has reached this stage in his life without actually knowing what an enema is. Well, I know what an enema is, but I didn't know the mechanics of the enema. Yes, I've been to Amsterdam, I've been to Thailand, I've seen the enema bars, you know, I know what goes on, not that I have it actually went in, and that's why I'm a little bit ignorant about it. So, this is what happens, guys, and if you're about to eat your lunch or your dinner or your breakfast or all three or you have elderly grandparents who probably know all about these things, this is what an enema looks like now, yeah. okay? You think, good? And it says on it, but okay, it says on it not to be taken orally. And, uh, well, you don't take it orally. What you do is you go in the toilet, you take the top of you shove it up your jack seat, you squeeze the fluid out, and then you pull it out. Do not, yes, this is the other thing it says on the box, do not. Leave this inside. <laughs> you may be tempted. I certainly was tempted the first time, but uh, it's not something that you do twice, guys. Oh, oh ladies. Um, anyway, so you squeeze the gel out and then you pull your pants up and you go and sit down. And sometime in the next, I don't know, well, it depends on the individual, I suppose, five minutes, five seconds. <laughs> two and a half hours, you rush back into the toilet and you either produce something or you produce a lot of gas or whatever it is anyway. And that's how you end up with an empty rectum. Now, how do you get a full bladder? Well, first of all, you've got to be well hydrated. So you've got to drink during the day. In fact, in the run-up. In fact, you've got to keep on drinking on a regular basis about two litres of fluid a day. So you need to make sure your body is well hydrated. So when you get to the hospital, uh, you go to the toilet and about 45 minutes before you're due to have the operation, um, the, the nurse comes out and says, OK, you can start drinking. And what you have to do is you have to drink 350 ml of water. And the intention is that by the time uh, your uh, treatment time comes around, your bladder is then uh, sufficiently full. Now, th this can lead to certain problems. For example, if the treatment is delayed, as it often is for, let's say, an hour and a half, then your bladder is going to get fuller and fuller and fuller. And you think, oh, my God, you know, not only have I shat myself, but now I'm going to piss myself as well. But you cannot do that, guys. You cannot piss yourself because you've got to have a full bladder. So sometimes you're even too full. And then they say you've got to empty this a little bit into a cup. And that is not a lot of fun, I can tell you. So let's, let's say, let's say, and let's cut to the chase, Julian. So you've got your, you've got your full, uh, your, you've got your empty rectum, you've got your full bladder, you go into the treatment room, they lie on the table, and they are really lovely, lovely, helpful staff. They're really rushed off their feet, but they're so nice, they're so helpful, they're so polite, they're so friendly, they make sure, always ask you for your date of birth, always ask you for the first line of your address, always make sure that you're the correct patient. And then they get you into the right position, and then the, the kind of machine that goes round and round, and the uh, uh, the radio waves, or however it works, is, is doing their stuff. And about 10 10, 15 minutes, they say, okay, thanks a lot, Julian, or Mr. Archie, so you say Julian, actually, because they're all very nice people, and uh, and see you tomorrow, and that's, off you go, and what you normally do, as soon as you get off the table, you run to the toilet, so when you're in the, the treatment area, all you can see is these old guys in their, in their gowns with their kind of asses, and their brown asses flapping out of the back, and then running to the toilet, because you're desperate for the piss, anyway, so that's, that's it, and I've had 11, 11 sessions, so I've got nine to go, now, the other thing you want to know is, is the side effects. Well, 
I've been pretty lucky, actually. Um, I've noticed a little side effect in the last few days where you're, you feel like you need to go to the toilet, you go to the toilet and not much comes out. And if it does come out, it comes out really slowly. Now, the first time this happened to me, okay, I got up in the night and uh, I went for a piss and it was so slow. I tell you, I was back in bed before the piss had hit the water. So, you know, that is not a lot of fun. But, you know, these side effects, these are, these are what we have to live with. But the other thing, and, and this is the real thrust of this video, actually, was to talk about um, exercise and tiredness and general kind of well-being and so forth while you're going through this treatment. Now, you may well think, and, and actually, I should caveat before I say this. I am not a medical professional by any stretch of the imagination. All I'm talking about is my situation. It may be similar to yours. It may be completely different to yours. Yours may be better. It may be worse. I, I don't know. All I'm talking about is my situation. And to explain to you that one of the things you read about is, is that you're going to be tired. You're going to feel like shit. You know, you just you lack motivation. Well, I'm going to tell you that is not my situation. I am a cyclist, as some of you may know, or I call myself a cyclist, as some of you may know. And I have continued to cycle uh, during my treatment. I've continued to go on fairly long walks. I've made some changes to my diet, not radical changes, but I was a bit concerned that one of the side effects of the Zolodex injection, which is what you take to suppress the to stop this, testosterone uh, is it can cause you to lose weight and to develop breasts actually now you can't quite see in this video but i have some of the nicest breasts i can do. i've seen and i've seen some nice breasts but these they take the biscuit i mean a number of times i just go upstairs and i take my shirt off and i stand in front of the mirror and i say mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you, you know when you're you're walking down the street and you see an attractive young lady, because you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do this, okay? It's what we used to do in the old days. You see an attractive young lady. You say inside, okay? Inside, you say to yourself, hmm. Anyway, that's what I do when I look in the mirror now. Um, but no, I've continued to exercise. I've made some changes to, to my diet. No radical changes. I didn't think I was a big fat bastard. I used to be in my previous, in a, in a previous life, but I'm a fat bastard now. And, but I've, I've upped, I've upped my vegetable intake. I've reduced my intake of bread. I've reduced my intake of butter. I still eat, eat too many crisps. I still eat too much chocolate. There are certain types of chocolate I'm particularly partial to. And one thing in particular is a galaxy ripple. Now you know you know a flake, okay? You, you remember the adverts for, for the flake where you've had this, you'd have this attractive girl and she'd hold something. She'd spend a month, that's what kids don't do this at home. So she go, do, do you remember that? I remember that. I was too young to know what was going on. That I wasn't. But that galaxy ripple is a flake, but it's a flake encased in chocolate, so it's like double bubble. And God, it's delicious. And actually is not that expensive. As you may know, I've been particularly partial to lint chocolate, which is pretty expensive, but a Galaxy Ripple Flake is pretty good. They're quite a bit flake, I'm not sure they do, but it's about 65p or something like that. So, of course, I buy, I buy hundreds of these things, and I go upstairs, I take my shirt off, I look at myself in the mirror, and I go, <laughs> this Galaxy Ripple Flake. And, oh, the, the fun never stops, guys. All I can say to you is you want to have some fun in your life. Get cancer, yes. Your life will never be the same in all sorts of ways. But you know, why can't we why can't enjoy it? So, anyway, the, the point of this video, right, it says he laughing too much of his own jokes. The point of this video is that if you uh, have just been told that you've got prostate cancer, you've got to have radiotherapy, you've got to have treatment, and you're thinking, oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm here to tell you, actually, it ain't that bad, guys. With the caveat that this is my situation, your situation may be worse, and also with the caveat, I suppose, that I've had 11 treatments, I've got nine to go, so it may all come crashing down in three or four treatments or whatever. And if that happens... If that happens, if my tits disappear, if I, if you know, if I'm shitting and pissing for England, well, I'm pissing for England already. If I'm doing all that kind of stuff, I've got endless tiredness, and I can't cycle, and I can't walk, and I can't do any of those things that I used to do. All my, all, all my, all my fun stuff. If I can't do that anymore, then I shall make a video, and I shall let you know because I think this video and this channel, guys, being serious for a moment, uh, this channel is about is about honesty. Um, so what else have I got to say? Um, I don't think I've got anything to say. If you, you want to see 
Right, here it is, right. Is this is this reversed? I never know. If I turn it if I turn it upside down, if I turn it like that, can you see it the right way up? Or if I turn it like that, can you see it the right way? It's called uh, it's called Norgalax, okay, and on the back of it it says not to be taken orally. And it also says do not leave in place and dispose of safely after use. And uh, I have disposed of them safely all over town. It's like a, it's like a geocache. That's that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do a geocache, and you can search. Yes, you can search throughout London and the southeast for one of Julian's used animals. And if you return, it, actually, don't return it to me. Take a picture of it. Send me the location. Send me. Tell me where you found it. And I shall send you a small prize. But I haven't quite decided what it is yet. It might even be. A Galaxy Ripple Flag. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, then please consider uh, subscribing. And um, if you want to leave a comment, some actually some people have left some really nice comments. Lots of people who've had prostate cancer, lots of people who've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, they've left really high, nice, really helpful, really positive uh, comments, uh, giving me support, thank, saying, thanking me for the support that I hope I've been able to give. Uh, some of you guys, and also some of you ladies who are perhaps experiencing the choice of an animal for the first time. So, anyway, thanks for watching.